Good afternoon guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We want to do something a little bit different for you this afternoon. So we're here at the Dusseldorf Boat Show in Germany 2024 and I'm with my colleague and dear friend here Steve Handy and we're going to give you a look around this beautiful Sunseeker 88 yacht that we have here on display. The boat is absolutely stunning and we're really looking forward to giving you a little show round. So rather than doing just me, I'm going to work with Steve, we're going to go around, talk about our opinions, what we like, what we don't like and hopefully it's a bit more interesting for you. We stood here in the aft cockpit of this boat and this is a true entertaining space it really is ample floor space and out here the owner can really choose what furniture they want what layout they want here you've got this beautiful freestanding furniture it looks absolutely stunning and you can see there the uh, sun secret extend system can't you steve patented patented you're very sun correct sun extend very system correct. Very fitted correct. on the 88 the 100 and the 90 ocean and yes. the ocean 182 new 182 yeah tom did we mention that we're not old enough to have known each other for 18 years 18 years that's but quite we actually scary have four, isn't it that is quite a scary thought really scary that means how many boat shares we've we probably been at together probably about 18 <laughs> yeah well, yeah times two so let's go and have a look in the saloon let's start wandering through what is a vast vast layout it really is huge in here as with all of the boats now i mean you can see just how much space there is i mean it feels like steve's the other side of a tennis court over there ample space in here there really is you've got this beautiful wraparound sofa area here and then as with all the boats in the range now I just love don't you Steve these huge windows now I mean it's incredible the design innovation is scary it makes me feel really old uh, well, but when you look here do you know what it's the choice for a client that fascinates me yeah no one Sunseeker is ever the same as another you love this eucalyptus oh, I, think this is lovely, I love yeah. silver oak yeah guess what I can have silver oak you can have eucalyptus well, that's that's or if we can't range. agree we could have the combination and have both half and half amazing everything you look at the soft panelling, the ceiling panels, those lacquered panels reflect, reflecting the light down. There is so much choice, isn't there, if the, owners, if, it, if the owner wants to spec the boat, they really can. And then this superb arrangement for dining, so you can easily seat eight guests around here, and it's a great place to entertain in the evening, regardless really of the time of year, isn't it? I mean, you could sit out here in midsummer in air conditioned, or if you're actually using the boat outside of the summer season, then it's a great space to be. And there's some lovely storage here as well, just Although it's beautiful in it, it still has to retain it. it is a boat. We are using this at sea, so all the doors are, are nicely catched, etc. And some beautiful lamps here from Porto Romano, I believe, looking very, very smart there. I love the glass as well in the, in the side decks there, so you've got that vision out through. So when you're in here, you can imagine I me. Mean, I always think that when you're on a boat show stand, we're a pretty alien environment for this boat to be sat in. But to have the ability to sit here, look out, look at the water, I think is another really, really nice space. Let's just come up now towards the helm. Got day heads in here, so it's lovely to have a day heads at this, on this deck. Again, super practical if you are entertaining. What a helm. Unbelievable. Um, Look at the size of those screens, Tom. And I think that's the thing that, you know, I always joke on all my videos, Matt, we always do the helm shot, don't we? And uh, it, it, I mean, this is a helm and a half, it really is, but you've got everything here. And this really is, I think, where you start to see the Sunseeker quality, the way that things are installed, the way the switch gear is laid out. I love the CM8 screens now. I mean, they've just come on so much in the last couple of years. It's all the, all the um, functionality of those, even the wireless charger there, charging your phone. But let's not forget, this brand has been in existence for well over 50 years. Yeah, true. That's an awful lot of boats produced. Remember, they've built more than 200 boats over 100 feet. And as we know, boats at that size are built to a different class. Yeah. So the systems are far more complicated, but that knowledge that's accrued by this one brand is filtered through across all products. So yeah. you end up with something that really just works for the consumer. Can I talk about engines? Yeah. I love an engine, Tom. Cool. 2000 horsepower or 1950s in here. These triple turbo V12s are the most awesome sounding engine. And as you accelerate for the user, you get that turbo whistle as the first turbo winds up, then it drops down and the second turbo comes in and you feel like the king of the world on a boat that weighs almost, what, 80 tons? Yeah. So yeah, a lovely arrangement up at the helm, everything you possibly imagine, I mean, you know, you'd expect. Um, the other thing to talk about here is these new CMC electric stabilizers, isn't it? I mean, they're yeah, fantastic. amazing. And I've, I've heard some really good reports from clients that have got those much better noise levels, but you've got everything you could possibly imagine up here and also great visibility forward. A beautiful galley behind. I'll let you jump into the galley, Stephen. So what a fantastic space in here. These lovely uh, lacquers chosen on this particular boat with this eucalyptus, although as I said earlier, I'd rather have the silver oak. Um, you've got dishwashers, um, everything that you would expect in a galley of this size is here. Beautiful refrigeration. Importantly, you've got this pantograph door out, so crew have privacy from owner and guests. If they want to navigate down the side of the boat, they open the door here and discreetly navigate around the side decks on board. 
really cool feature. Melee induction hobs, various options available on this boat also. So, and remember, as we said earlier, clients choose everything. So the types of stone, the lacquered finishes, you could have wood in here, soft paneling, main cabinetry architecture, everything is chosen by the owner. You know, Tom, we travel a lot, so we stay in a lot of nice hotel rooms, we've seen a lot of boats. I don't think I've ever seen or been in such an opulent space no, as this camera. It is stunning, and I think from the very first time I saw the first ATA, I vividly remember it, it was in Paul, and I was blown away by the interior, and we get to go on a lot of boats, and you, know, you, you get a bit used to them, and this was really one of those boats, I was like, wow, that's special. And it's something about it, I think it's the detailing, all the, the different fabrics, textures, the textures, materials, yeah, it's just really nice. Combination of these lacquers, detailed lacquers with design detail, eucalyptus, yeah. stainless frame doors. Yeah, really nice. And for an owner, imagine laying with this porthole and this lovely breeze, although I'd rather not imagine that with you in here, Tom. No yeah, offense. Best way. But what a what a great what a great place. And then you've got beautiful ensuite behind you there, which isn't that it's amazing walk in space. I mean it's um it's definitely plenty of room in here, that's for sure. Again, Even lovely those lighting. handles, Tom, look at the handles. Yeah, the, it's lovely the way everything's done. I love the, the upstands there, the way that's backlit. I mean, look at it in here, Steve. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I mean, you could have a party in the shower, you really could. I mean, uh, I'll give you some idea of scale. I mean, I can literally do a handstand in here, no problem at all. Really, really smart space and beautifully finished as well. Well, you keep selling boats, Tom, we're gonna lock you in here. Yeah, probably for the best, yeah, probably for the best. And then you've got the his and her sinks with the storage above. And that's Tom, really... look at the quality of this door. Obviously the viewers can't see this on camera, but when you feel it, yeah, there's catches. The solidity really. of the door, the structure of this, it's just built to such a high standard. Yeah. Such a quality product. Definitely, definitely. We're lucky, Tom. Well, let's go and have a look at the other cabins and see what else we've got on here. So we've got two twin cabins here, Matt, um, port and starboard, both twin cabins, both identical, both en suite. But you're coming into what I think is probably my favourite cabin up here. Um, forward cabin, forward VIP, but I love the way you enter this cabin. Look at that glass there, I mean, it's just absolutely spectacular. The beam on this boat is carried so far forward, isn't it? You just get that so much room in this cabin. I, I would have said that the full beam master was my favourite. Now I'm in here, I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I think this this lobby here, the staircase, the fact that the door sits a long way aft, it creates such a grand entrance. And again, with all the detailing, all the spacing, big floors, like you say, with the beam carried forward. Wow, they, these are almost, I would say, pretty much on par with each other. Well, let's go up and should we ever go and look at the five ish now? I think so, yeah. Accommodation, I think, in summary, we can say is absolutely spectacular yeah lots of choice for a customer they literally can spec about as they want yeah, yeah definitely um, and i think you'd be really proud to say you owned a Sunseeker. yeah and enjoy this space so a real ingenious piece of engineering detail here so for the captain or owner um, you've got throttle levers here hydraulic bow and stern thruster control an engine switch gear and of course horn and for the driver it means they can stand looking aft down the full beam of the bow reversing into a berth what a really useful and clever piece of engineering detail. Right, over to you, Tom, on the flybridge. So you join me up here on this amazing flybridge. It really is a fantastic space. I know I've used that word a lot in probably in this video, but it really is. I mean, there's only so many words you can use to describe Tom, it. Tom, I feel like I feel like you've earned a drink. Really? Well, it's been a long day. If no one's watching, then I might have a And I do a believe drink. you've sold a boat today, Tom. I have sold a boat So today. well deserved. Not going to stretch the champagne, because of course that's for the client, but enjoy a drink, well, Tom. Cheers, cheers. And what a lovely place to enjoy a little drink on a Tuesday afternoon. But as you can see, it really is an amazing space up here. We've got the multi-vane system up here on the um, a hard top, so great design allowing you to ventilate the space and let some sunshine in, whilst at the same time keeping that rigidity into the roof and as a, as a solid structure rather than the opening canvas. As with the rest of the boat, you've got beautiful detailing everywhere you look, lots of really right, look at this, lighting. Tom, so you've got sink here. Yeah. What have we got in here? We've got lots of storage there. I've got two drawer fridges. Wow, these are so cool. What beautiful quality. And everything We've got boat is more standard, refrigeration. You could store some serious drinks up here, Tom. And then an ice maker. And wow, look at this barbecue. That is very smart. Is that the Tekimi techie, techie Picks? Tekimi Picks? Tekimi Picks, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Perfect if you've got crew to serve. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my joke with the wine, but it's very serious. This is a great 
space and highlighting how you can be served by the people yeah. that are looking after you. Yeah, or if you're an owner operator boat, which we have some at this size, great to entertain with your friends. Yeah, definitely. This one doesn't have the crane or the jacuzzi. No. I think I'd want the jacuzzi, no? Yeah, it's a good it's a great feature, but I mean I think Are realistically you a jet ski fan, maybe you'd want I the crane think, with a jet ski. I think if it was me, I would keep this space open, I would have a couple of lounges here and just use this area for serious relaxation in the afternoon, watch what's going on in the water, watch my children, family swimming in the sea, have a little drink, relax, get that sun awning above us extended over us, give me a bit of shade and have maybe a little snooze as well. So what you're saying is I've got to have another one. Yes. I've got to have one with the crane so yes. we can store the toys yeah, up here. True. And then I'm going to entertain the kids and the friends whilst you're relaxing and sounds I'm doing a lot. That sounds, sounds like our normal days, Tom, no? I say go and have a quick look up at the helm as well on this on this flybridge, because quickly, because I'm conscious we're, we're running out of time here, Matt. Wow. As with that lower helm, what a spot, what a space. It feels like a... It feels huge. I've got all everything I need up here, obviously throttles. This boat's also fitted with the Zenta joystick system. So if you are unsure you're an owner or an owner operator on this boat, you can actually operate her by using this joystick, which is a great feature, giving that confidence. And if you're on a longer passage, I love the way you've got all this seating up here. Do you know, I was, I was on a 88 with a client, um, with a captain mm. in Croatia, and we got caught in some really strong winds when they were coming into dock. And that Zenta system's unbelievable. Right. He was able to hold the boat against at least 30 knot gusts, really? hard over just on the hydraulic bow and stern thruster, and we were keeping the boat on station whilst the captain readied the fenders, the lines, and got himself ready to then reverse into the berth. Really I was so impressed. Really? So I've talked a lot in my last few videos about side decks. Now this is your optimum side deck. You've got a rail all the way along here. This is super high, very safe, beautifully lit. So if you are using this area at night, it's really easy to get up here. There's that door here that Steve spoke about earlier on into the galley. And just stepping up here, I'm now up in this forward space and look at all this room up here. It is absolutely huge. Sit here and uh, what's nice about this area, Steve, isn't it? Is when you're in a, a Mediterranean marina, you're actually out the way of the people looking. You could have breakfast up here. Yeah. This would be a really cool space for the crew to set up breakfast or even a breakfast but buffet. So you could be lounging, sitting, yeah all eating, drinking coffee in the morning, watching the sun come up, or in my case, watching it go down if I've had a heavy night the night before. Very true. Love these folding backrests here so you could um, sit facing forward, although don't do what I did once and take a drink and it goes straight over your head if you do more than 20 knots. That was embarrassing. Well, look, we'll probably call it a day there, but I hope you've really enjoyed watching this video. First time we've done anything like this together, um, but as always, we're trying to think of different ideas, what we can do. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button. We really appreciate all our views. Feel free to give us a thumbs up and also leave a comment below. It all helps us to increase our channels. We've got lots more content to come over the course of the year. We'd like to say a big thank you to Matt uh, from Matt Wright Films for filming this. So keep watching, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you everybody and thank you Tom.